Okay, look at this. It looks suspiciously like Muruku. But they don't call it Muruku, they call it noodles. I can't believe it, noodles with nuts. Like, what the f? Test, test, okay, alright. Hi, you're watching Great Speed Eats and we're here at Red Hill Food Centre to try Hong Sing Curry Rice. Operating at Red Hill Food Centre since 1995, the store sells Hainanese Curry Rice. It was started by Matriarch who had to support a household of seven. It is now in the hands of 26-year-old Lim Tia Han, who is of the third generation. He graduated with a degree in banking and finance and took over the business in 2015 and has since expanded the business to three locations across Singapore. Jalan Pokimera, SMU, Singapore Management University and this original branch at Red Hill Food Centre. They had a branch at North Point Ishun. It was called Hockey Heroes but that has since closed down. For those of you who do not know what Hainanese curry rice is, it is a uniquely Singaporean dish created by the Hainanese and the trademark is that the rice, the white rice, is covered in a mass of gravies, usually curry gravy and raw, braised pork gravy, and it results in a sloppy, uh, tasty mess. You can choose a range of items, but the classic items are usually breaded pork chop, top thai, which is stir fried vegetables, raw bar, braised pork, and curry chicken. Okay, come, let's have a taste. What about love? Curry chicken. Law ba. Oh, you pay me. You don't want to 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 pay me. We have a plate now and we've ordered quite a few dishes. They actually have a huge range of dishes, I think about maybe about 15 to 20 dishes or so. But I ordered their popular signature ones and that is basically the curry chicken, the top thai, the pork chop, the law bar and um, they are particularly proud of the ikan bilis and peanuts so I ordered that as well. And I also ordered some extra curry on the side. I think it's like a dollar extra or two dollars extra or something like that. Let's try the all important curry gravy, which basically makes or breaks the dish. Oh my goodness. The curry gravy is stronger spice with a hint of asam. It's very unlike the typical Hainanese curry gravy, which tends to come sweeter with less curry flavor. This it comes fairly power packed. It's spicy, it's got a proper curry flavour to it. It's got a nice stock flavour, it's savoury, it's very slightly sweet. Apparently they actually mix in a bit of law inside, I'm not too sure, but that's what I heard. It's creamy obviously because there's coconut milk inside. Okay, now for the, the pork chop. The breaded pork chop comes with more substantial meat than bread crumb coating. If you've eaten at many curry rice places, you might encounter a few places who try to economize the pork chop to the point where you're only tasting bread crumb and hardly any meat. There's a hearty meatiness to it. It's properly seasoned the meat. The breading is crunchy as well, but it's not going to be like, you know, soft and moist and so on and so forth. It's just not the style of it. In fact, it is actually incredibly well seasoned with the pork, which can be fairly unusual in a lot of curry rice pieces. The curry gravy with some rice. Oh. Perfect combination. Ooh, the rice is nice. Ooh, good rice. Nice separation of the 
rice grains, firm yet soft with a slight bounce. Because of the new owner, right, they've actually introduced some new generational thinking. At some of their stores, I'm not sure if they serve it here, because of the demand, you can actually get healthy brown rice as an option. Now for the infamous law bar. And this should be killer. As you can see, they cut it in quite chunky pieces. My god. This pork belly, you can tell the pork belly has been wonderfully stewed. The fat is soft, the skin is soft, and the meat is wonderfully soft. And you can still taste the spices inside, and there's a decent pork flavour as well. This is really good pork belly. Now for the curry chicken. Very, very soft because he used the thigh section of the chicken and it's boneless, which is kind of like targeted towards the yum. It was actually a deliberate move. A lot of the older generation like their chicken meat with a bone. Meaty, but yet there's a tenderness to it, of course, because it's um, chicken thigh. And it's not dry at all. It is actually decently moist. And then you pair the chicken with the curry. Look fantastic. Now, the tap thai, the stir fried vegetables, is fairly interesting. Because it's got a darker hue, because they cook it with a hint of dark soy sauce. That's what makes the, the, the colour. So, the resultant flavour. Oh. Soft, with bite, wonderfully stewed. The top tie here has got a very full flavour. And it's very unlike the plain watery top tie, which is sold in many curry rice stalls. It is like a savoury and very, very, very slightly sweet soy flavour to it. Now, this is their sambal ikan bilis and they are particularly proud of it. Sambal ikan bilis with peanuts. Okay, it's deep fried anchovies and peanuts, stir fried with a chilli sauce. It's a pretty unusual item for Hainanese curry rice stalls. Lightly spicy, oil rich and it still keeps its crunch no matter what time of the day. Those are my bin here at all times and they actually keep it to one side. They don't actually replenish it very often but it still keeps its crunch. I don't know how they do it but it's amazing. We put it all together, pork chop, rice, plus some curry, gravy. Such a wonderful bite. Whenever you order some curry chicken, they always add a potato. And don't poo poo it, okay? It is wonderfully soft. And melt in soft. I don't know what sort of potatoes to use, but it's wonderfully cooked through. So it still manages to hold its shape, but it's got this um, meltingly soft potato texture to it. And it's very, very slightly sweet as well, because it's potato. Now, the style of curry rice is that you're not meant to get all the separate flavours of the meats and the vegetables and all. I mean, you do, but it's almost like a slug. And so all the flavours will mix. Now the big question is whether the sambal, inkambilis and peanuts actually marries well with the rest of the dish. Because the rest of the dish, right, they are predominantly savoury flavours. Savoury, all rich flavours, but there's hardly any sweetness you can actually find. Or if there is, it's a very little sweetness. The ikambilis and peanuts actually introduce a little bit of sweetness inside. It does taste very different from, from the rest and it does stand out. Whether you think it's a good thing or a bad thing, eh, I don't know. You let me know. On its own, with rice, it tastes great. One criticism about this place is that they add curry gravy but um, I find it a bit lacking, it's not enough gravy. You always need to put a little bit more. So you always invariably have to order one extra portion and it costs money. So because if you don't add it right, this can be a bit dry, not enough flavour. So that's one downside. You know, I wish they would just put more gravy full stop. Regarding Red Hill Food Centre itself, hosting curry rice isn't the only Hainanese curry rice place. There are actually three curry rice places here, if you believe it or not. So it is like curry rice central. Don't ask me why, but it is curry rice central. Maybe there are a lot of Hainanese here. Who knows? Okay, finish. Conclusion, I've been coming back to Hong Seng Curry Rice because I think that it is actually a curry rice style which actually flies under the radar a bit because their curry rice is a bit modern. It's a bit modern in its approach, slightly. It's one of the better curry rice places in Singapore and mainly because the curry gravy you know, has got a spicier, more curry powder flavour to it. And I think that's what curry should be. But that's just me. I'm Pranakan, so I've got a bit of Malay blood in me. But I don't believe in a light curry flavour, okay? No such thing. Okay, so thanks for watching another episode of Great Speed Eats, where I eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this episode, give a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.